Grand Slam of Curling Boost National. It's the women's semifinals. Team Anderson taking on Team Fujisawa, sixth end. Team Anderson, line one. Their skip with the hammer. Throws a nice rock to catch a piece of the back four. That's a score of two for Team Anderson. They lead 6-3, eighth end. Team Anderson facing one. And Carey gets the takeout. The Canadians advance to the final on the strength of the 8-5 win. Second semifinal, Team Laws taking on Team Tiranzoni. We pick things up in the sixth end. Team Tiranzoni leading 5-1, lying one, looking for the double takeout, but it clips the yellow guard, removes one of her own stone, so Team Laws score three. We've got a 5-4 match. Eighth end, Team Laws down 7-4 with the hammer. Caitlin Laws needs to score three to keep her rink alive, but she can only get one. So Team Tiranzoni moves on to the final, winning 7-5. How about on the men's side? Semi-final number one, Team Gushu taking on Team Dropkin. First end, Team Gushu, line one. They've got the hammer, and Brad Gushu draws it to the back forefoot to grab a 2-0 lead. After Team Gushu then stole four in the second and another in the third. The lead is now 7-0. Dropkin with the hammer and that's a miscue. Leads to a steal of two as Team Gushu rolls to an 11-0 win in just five ends. Second men's semi. Team Dunstone taking on Team Edeen. Eighth end. Team Dunstone with the hammer facing a single rock. That's a completed takeout to score a pair. So we need an extra end. In the extra end, the veteran Nicholas Adine with the hammer facing a pair. That is terrific weight. Bumps the red, scores one. Team Adine through to the final, 4-3.